Welcome to this third game of the first day of the 2017 WTC. I'm Quentin and you're Chris. I am indeed. I ah. think. I'm, I think. I yeah, believe so. If you put a hat on, would you be Cowboy Chris? Yeehaw. There you are, you would be Cowboy Chris for, <laughs> for the... For this game, for this game, I am Cowboy Chris. We come back, Chris. So um, we're going to be streaming. Uh, so this one we have Sweden, uh, Sweden, and Norway. Hugo. Um, if you can hear Norwegian um, in the background, it is because we they like camps, like literally, like here, twenty centimeters just away from us. Yes, they're doing tactics. Unfortunately, we in Norwegian, in Norwegian though. So. Um, I, I can only imagine that they're really, you know, there's grids. I'm pretty sure one of them's got a calculator out, and one of them is connecting to a super cute, uh, computer back in Norway to calculate all the variables uh, for when they play into Sweden. But anyway, so. <coughs> I'll just go a quick one through uh, the teams um, and what's in there and then obviously once they're not sat right next to us <laughs> we might talk about potential combinations in our view. Um, so let's look at those lists. Yes. yes. So for so Team Norway again we are Ents. Yeah, I think so. We could ask them right away to tell them about the way we should say the names because I'm always afraid to butcher them. And I'm just going to call him Hans here. Yeah, I'm so Hans. afraid Hans is fine. This right. Hans is okay. So basically Hans is playing versus two and a lot of tricks. A lot of tricks. I did see this in action yesterday. I do see Janaman tricks as well. That was what I was referring to. Two Animan tricks, I think it's fine, but so many tricks. Actually, you know, since the tricks and the Kriyas kind of lost armor with MK3, fine. They are in importance. They, they yeah, hit a lot harder than you expected. They, 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 they do a little hard. They, sorry. They hit hard. Yep. They have that spray for the Drex. Yep. So the Kriyas is going to be hitting Paralysis. basically like very close to Molecar, yep. thanks to uh, Ignite from Xerxes 2. Yep. But they are. They have a shitty armor, which means if you have a shooting list, you're probably gonna get the most of them out of the board right away, and it's not the player that's gonna do anything against that. True, true. But it helps that on the second list they have something that's quite resilient to shooting. I've heard. Absolutely. So I get a two double cats. Yeah. Uh, nothing special to see here. It's gonna be same list over and over and over. Just, if you've not played into double cats, then your you know this vein here hasn't popped out when trying to trying to kill them. Um, so yes. Yeah, so, so yeah, first is gonna be a lot of praise a lot of you know high you know deceptively high power you know attacks from the Kriya. The second list is basically gonna be uh, two units of Ferrox just in there be tough cannot be knocked down and if they miss their tough what's gonna happen is that basically my is gonna say okay stay there I yep. spend one fury my guy is not dead on top of that they have the despoiler for the free upkeep and actually this thing is like a truck as well and Molycorn because Molycorn Makeda it makes Mikeda. sense yeah. and uh, to be fair the spoiler hits like a uh, truck because of Makeda because of that crit rule down which means that he's very likely to get it yeah. with the additional dice on the feet. feet. So. Uh, also, uh, uh, Tyrion Redeem gives yes. touch to all the Feroxes, so basically uh, you're going to have to put the afford to kill them. It's defense 13, doesn't seem very, very high, but <laughs> it's, this seven, it's, it's this sweet spot where you <coughs> between sixes and sevens and you can miss them. So yeah. if you miss them, you're just going to move and, away. And for every, potentially with a jack, if you boost to try and make sure you hit, then that's a less attack, and then it's a tough, and then it's one less fury. She has to spend, so yeah, it's very good. Oh, yeah, anyway, it's working pretty well. So, uh, list from yeah. Yala. So, the Signor. Oh, Brisbane. So, um, so is the Heli 2. Uh, I think it's very similar to the list they used to win I Move the Ship. I haven't seen a lot of Brisbane lists being played, so no. I'm curious to see what status um, be. I can only imagine, um, and obviously, yeah, Yala's only three feet away from me, so we might yell at me if I've got this wrong, but um, with Heli 2, obviously, Heli 2 is Heli 2. She's now been there. Slightly, so she's only going to affect six to eight things with her feet. Every other part of it is still good. And if you're coming up against these lists that we saw earlier, with like Kador, where they have seven to, seven to eight jacks, yeah. that's still pretty good. With that's basically, you do roll average, you know, you're going to get those seven things. You're going to say, hey, they're not going to move. Yeah, so she's still Haley. All it means now is that you're not going to see probably Haley dropped in his move. Um, yeah, that those infantry swarms, those kind of things. I think the change that is now to put a Storm Strider in it, that basically, you know, as a tool, 
have to deal with a lot of infantry. Yeah. Uh, you pretty much should be able to feed on whatever is important. Yeah. You're gonna remove all those infantry. You're gonna be able just to feed on the important models or the thing you couldn't kill with the sun. So it's pretty thin. One thing to note, though, I've heard that in Reliance on the Jakes, yes, we get this wonderful spell called Psychic. Oh no, not Psychic. No, yes, Psychic. Yes, so it can't be done. No, 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 Placed. Yeah, it's so no telekinesis in this one. No. Ah. If I'm not mistaken, only if it's upkeep. So it is uh, upkeep. If that's part of what you yeah, want to do, I'm sure you can do it. I've seen a mistake made sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. And um, second, I think this is a quick drop because oh yeah, because the yeah. thunderhead. Um, so you have thunderhead with the pulse, so that will just, especially with the yeah. firefly nearby, yeah. it just wrecks bane. Um, you've got the shots. They're also shots, which are powerful enough to take down riders. Uh, you have island strange bane. The list, so I'm, I'm not sure on the math of it, but I mean, that will think uh, Wraith Engine with those shots. Um, and then you have um, Stormwall, so again, the Stormwall, magic shots, that's two, yeah, two power, 15 screens. He's uh, got ground pounder, which helps with the stealth, uh, the pod, so you can throw in the pod, shoot into the pod to get. Out of it, which gets around the rainfall as well. Um, so yeah, the, this this to me kind of feels like the yeah. you know, triumph. I don't usually see it often. I know like it has this new rule that says okay, you can take a shot. It's a magical shot as well. Oh true, yeah. So yeah. it might be useful. It's a very long shot. You can take the shot during the maintenance phase. But I'm not sure if I'm correct. I don't. I don't think you could play this into. Um, yeah, I kind of feel like that's a really good quick shot. Okay, we'll see. And then we have Martin. Martin, who is playing Legion, Fiona 2. I've seen two, this before. Yeah. Okay, Fiona 2. two. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. You know, it's good drop. Good into everything you are. A lot of, lot of flying yeah. orbies that are going to be knocked down. <laughs> have a high defense. You put Fiona 2 in. They're going to get three more defense, if I'm not mistaken. Dodge yeah. as well. And dodge. Defense 17, you're going to knock them down. Well, that's it. Yeah, if you don't have an answer to that, you're going to suffer a full one turn for sure. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, too. It's this not is a grim can drop. Oh. I, I, I oh, because everything you. gets room from play. Uh, not just that. Uh, you've, got, you've got the room from play. But also, um, the thing that grim can like to do that we saw is they like to take the alphas and then they like to heal up from them. They like to just take them and fight back. Um, Abby, too, has the speed to alpha them. And most of her defensive tech she compensates for with the feet. So when she comes in, she will just move two or three heavies. Okay. Yeah. And at that point, you're, you know, she's on four heavies in that. I mean, yeah. that's a bit of a weird one. There's no there's in there. there. But yeah. Um, but still, you know, it's it's gonna hit hard. So I, I reckon if we got a Grimkin in the other team, that they're gonna try and put uh, Legion into there because Absalonian is pretty good into Legion at the moment. Let's go to. Looks like they're going to start the pairing yeah. process now, so we'll just crack on through this. Uh, Gorsha 2 Dark Ghost, which is one of the things you can do with Dark Ghost. So the thing with Gorsha 2 is that, so this list, actually this is interesting because he's playing Ghost Fleet and Dark Ghost with Gorsha 2, but both of those lists has been turned down pretty hard by anything that has that removed from play right away. Yeah. Gorsha 2's feet is not going to happen. Yep. And well, no, Ghost Fleet is feet. not going to happen. Ghost Fleet's two feet is fine because he, put, he uses True. it on the scrap props. But uh, yeah. no, but because because if you remove, uh, you know, the Ben Riders, because usually what you're going to to feed on with Gorsha too, if you remove them from play, you cannot put them back into play. Uh, so you know, the, the, those nine scrap props are going to get it in the back. As, you know, it's basically your second alpha. Yep. Uh, it's not gonna work. You're gonna get like those those nine things that are gonna try maybe to run forward and have them explode within you know a million pieces into the enemy lines. But uh, they are defense eleven or more twelve. That's not gonna make it. That's not gonna work. So this is interesting because for me I was thinking about doing you know pairings like that and I, I was thinking oh maybe you know Darko is the best one or something like this and then I realized that the, the Gorsha to this is actually very vulnerable to play effects. Yep. And so the Denigrai Warlight is actually vulnerable to those things because you can't get the recursion the recursion from the the, the, the pirates. Then the pirates. So eh, you know if I would if I would be a player and I would have something against you know basically Exerus like One. I remove from Bay everything and my guys, you know, your own guys, it's your own guys and they just, you know, get killed this way. I don't think, you know, I, I would be, you know, a player and have, having this list, I would go, okay, I'm going to take this, this opponent, like, yep. 100% of the time. It looks like I have, I have what I need to, to manage, you know, to, to, to deal with it. And then Denegron, an inspired list choice. Yeah, we're not even going to come Very, on very different one. to the rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there is three riflemen in every list. So, 
Okay, okay. and Tom Kenneth. Uh, wait. Okay, yeah, this so, is why. <laughs> yes, because they've got two There was a players, reason. And so this one has okay. a Coven Host. And they, so they've split Coven Host and Negra across each other. And then they've got a Sixtius One uh, Ghost Fleet. Um, now, this means that actually that Sixtius One Ghost Fleet is a really good cross drop. Yeah. Because, because if they drop Ghost Fleet. Um, Everything's oh, Actually, okay. no, it doesn't. It swaps it around. It doesn't kill. It's not magical. I forgot. It's feet isn't magical. Oh. Um, our well, it could still, you know, it, it's just a unit. It's just a lot of models you're going to be able to remove out of the bat. You know, you move us because forward, you cast Parasite. Yep. You feet, you teleport back. That's it. Everything takes a bow. Yeah. And so if you're I'm minus three armor. Got, yeah. And Coven is Coven. Coven is Coven. <laughs> two the Flippers, it's two Scavengers, sometimes you see the Secretor, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, so the rest of it is pretty much the same. Two Max Pain Riders, two Min Pain Warriors with the three UAs, that's maximizing the number of free points that you can get from this list, and the Ruff Engine because Ben, Cav on 20 armor, that's legit. That's completely legit. With Vengeance, don't forget. With Vengeance, it is absolutely we love it. Um, so, yeah, so the big thing to notice with this team is two Crix players means that they can, with this pairing process, if you have something that it's weak to Cricks, they can throw both the Cricks players out. You know? And then all that means is that the Cricks player is remaining, and then yes, they might try and throw two other factions to go into that Cricks, but really, do two, do, does anyone have two players that want to play into Cricks? Most people want yeah. to dodge the Cricks player, not go into it. So, um, Wait, it looks like the French won already. Yep, the French is already. Maybe this, already. Maybe just a roll. Okay, never mind. Um, okay, so the other team. Let's go to the Swedish team. Uh, Which yep. is the oh, if it's from alphabetical order, it must be. Mm. I scroll down. I did open up there. Oh, there Team Svilen. So, Gustav with Legion of the Blights, and he's playing. Oh, Siren and Rias. Okay, so just quickly, uh, on the second list, yes, Fire Two yeah. with pretty much the same thing. Yeah, it's uh, that kind of list so is like nothing else. It, it, yeah, it, it's, it's something you can have. Like every yeah, legend, yeah. legend player can play, and, and it's gonna do. You know, it's it's solid list. Siren Two and Rias Two. Um, I, you know what? I really like those casters every time I play against I get my mind so out of any you know I just can't process everything yeah. this can do and I end up and I end up losing like even on scenario when I get like a critical piece being removed because Raya's just pops out back and then she moves with uh oh, this the thing like she does two inches uh that apparition uh, no the seraph does it remember well it's anonymous Slipstream. Slipstream, and then all of the slips is in the middle of whatever she has to kill, and that's it. You lose another model, like another heavy or something. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so Zuriel, because Zuriel now gets both bonuses from Rias and Siren, so it's stealth and can be uh, can act number. Yeah, I don't remember if there is another one. Yeah, it can be channeled through. Yeah. And yeah, and then I guess the new sorceress in Alien is a pretty pretty good model now. Yeah. And, oh, the double throws. So that's probably. Uh, is that I think corpse based because if they're so corpse it's, based, I think pretty it's pretty good. I think it's, yeah, I think it's corpse based, and they have like this thing where when they kill something, uh, they can they can cast a spell. So basically, you you go with the you know for spray if you have you know other, other warriors to kill. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually very interested to you know this this. So Fiona, I think Fiona's color is more generalist drop, but I think everyone's kind of got a quick drop. Which I mean, even that may. Sorry. Those, those sorceresses on Hellion, because they're both in Oracles. Or whether he just picked them because they're the free, uh, the free models. Oh. Um, oh, yeah, true. Or if you but they get else. five models, so is it a way to maximize the uh, the point, the free points you get? See, I, and I've had this debate on the stream before, but I don't get it Like people will pick the most expensive model that you get free, because they're all free. So at that point, yeah. you really should just pick the one that works with the list. Now, it might be that they work with the list, but, you know, if an extra Forsaken will work against because if you're going into Grixis, you know, yes, fair, fair enough, for every, you know, Ghost Fleet, which might be what they're there for, you get into Ghost Fleet to stop shooting. Um, but if you're, you're wanting to play something into Host and you're taking Hellions, it's like, how, how will Hellions help you into, you know, into Host with all those guns? So, whereas you do see a lot of people who do get very um, obsessed with the, the maximum points. Um, anyway, it's, you know, the Sorceress, it's, it's, a, it's a cool sono, anyway, so... 
Um, okay, Necrophage is it's not living or enemy, it is just remove model, so yes, that would work. So I actually think if we see um, Gustav drops into one of the tricks, then we yeah. probably... Oh, that's okay. okay, it's Spine Burst. Yeah. Spine Burst is the spell now. It's basically Ashes to Ashes. So yeah, so quite interesting there. We think that Protectorus. Oh. Um, you don't see a lot of Protectorus players these days. They tend to say that their you know, team list is not good enough and they tend to switch to play other other factions. But I don't know, it's what, what I've been seeing. So Yeah, definitely. So we got Amon. Um, I'm on one with all of his all dervishes. dervishes. Um, so that is a horrible list to crack if you're not prepared for it. So it's what we call like a gear checklist. Basically, it's the uh, it's kind of not a copy-paste, but see what Virus 2 is doing in, in Syra with uh, what's the Synergy. Yep. That's what it is with Emon. Except Emon has mobility. Sidestep plus the um, choir. Yeah. You know, we're technically plus three plus five on those shots. Um, which means that you can trade really well. Yeah. Um, so if, for example, I can imagine if like, Fiona's going to appear there, if you can get some early synergy um, get oh, yeah. off, that, it just counters the, the feet straight right away. away. Right away. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think I think that's probably a good list into things that he sees that don't have the, the punching power or don't have any ability to trade. But he has those two um, Anvil, basically, the Indictor and the Templar, yes. which they are very sturdy jacks. They have like a lot of armor in the Indictor, if I'm, if I'm correct. It prevents people from um, casting spell around him. I might be yeah. wrong. I don't remember I think exactly. it's one of those abilities. You don't tend to say much, but they are making a comeback with the... <coughs> With Amon. Um, okay, and then Resnick. Um, Resnick, Resnick too. has got the vessel, so which is good. Um, hey, it's got Creator's Might, so that looks like a lot of shooting. Um, I think this is a list that would be basically, I see two Redeemers, two Reconners. The way I see it is that it's a list that's going to remove from play a list with a lot of models that are supposed to have recursion, so yep. those feet, for example. Basically, what happens is that Resnick moves forward, feet, and then you have the Reconners and the Redeemers go to town, and then every time a model is being killed within explodes. the feet, it explodes and explodes the things next to him because, like, I don't know if it's a we. Four when about twelve or twelve fourteen is pretty big. Yes, yeah, I remember exactly. Yeah. About fourteen, big, I believe. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you just if you have like an army with a lot of models, they're just all going to explode next to each other, and so that's it. That's how it is. Uh, should we move on to Nicholas? Yep. Perfect. This will choose a convergence. Yeah. Both in destruction initiative. No surprise there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The Retreat is actually one, I'm not even surprised at this one as well. Um, two taps, I'm not surprised at this one as well. Yeah. Is there two taps in both lists? Yes, yep. sir. Yeah, nice. Taps everywhere. Okay, so... Um, yeah, I can so, probably see... I mean, obviously, I'm on it just gets better with all the... All colour both sides. And the Primax one with the Chris because... So, I mean, is there anything do, to explain about this list? Uh, um, I think the main thing to be aware of is... Um, Iron Mother has just more options when it comes to War Machine. Um, because at, at minimum, with all those elimination services, um, if she gets into something like Kade or, or not so much Cricks because of the. Um, yeah, all they got is not code and it'll tend to die too quickly, but she's got back on. <laughs> so even if the trade's not going well, if they can get onto a Jack. And just or or a colossal, um, and then just you know plink it with the one point elimination services. They can then just kill yeah. the enemy caster through uh, through that through feedback. So um, so that's good. And then access um, uh, access is just access is just a mind. I, I, I've, I've played against it. I think it was pretty much the exact same list. Uh, oh wait, I had less organizers and more inventors maybe. But basically, it's just like it's going to be up there. It's going to be complicated for you to get shots in it. Oh, hello. <laughs> Knife beyond the wall? <laughs> oh, because, oh, okay, <laughs> got it. Um, yeah, and, and the thing is, like, um, so you got you got those jacks that are very powerful. You have counter, char counter charge, uh, like, all of his jacks have counter charge. The inverter, if they hit you, you're going to be knocked down. Uh, and when Axis feet, it's, it's starting to get complicated to get into his own models. Yeah. And it's one of the few feats that stops charging. Well. Absolutely, absolutely. And in the meantime, you have the two TPs that are just like, you know what, I'm just going to spray everything, I don't care. Yeah. If, you have, if you have high defense, I'm going to be able to take care of you. Um, if you have high armor, I'm going to be able to take care of you. Yeah. The, the other side to it as well, which you might see with Iamother, is sometimes you do see, if, if, they, can, if they know they can keep Iamother safe, uh, is instead of putting um, tactical supremacy on Iamother, 
together, um, which is just the you know the standard thing that you do. Uh, they actually put it onto the tep and they hot swap them. So that means that the tep can come in, spray off the front line, back up three inches, and then it's then. 13 inches away from its front target which makes them even harder to, to try and finish off obviously that can all depend on scenario and stuff but it's options and, and all of this have very committed to kill you know with shooting as all of those balls are yeah. shield guards yep okay next player Olav Unrav playing Gado what is this let's see Karchev oh, 1 nice. Butcher 3 <laughs> oh there's Madeline in Butcher 3 I'm not going to come out of the Karchev 1 list I yeah. think you know, I mean, it's, 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 this is what I was saying before is what I had expected um, from a from a card chip list. It's it's still haven't destroyed. No, there's every way because it cost only ten points. Uh, yeah. Kodiak, it's very you know it's really cost uh, efficient. Jack doesn't want to see. Press. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. I mean, that may even be too many boxes. But the Birch are free list. I'm interested because. There's no, it's not a team list. Maybe it's going to be one soon. I don't know. But there is Madin Corbeau. <laughs> yep. I there is Madin Corbeau. What does she do already? She, I don't remember. Right, I think this is a host drop because Madin Corbeau stops non. It stops warrior models from attacking each other. So with Aaron and Holt in there, are they on there? Oh no, they're not. I thought I saw Aaron and Holt. Yeah, Aaron and Holt are in there. So Aaron and Holt are going to be able to give magical weapons, which means that he is going to be trying to kill off. Uh, Jax, and he's going to be trying to kill off the Wraith Engine as soon as possible. As soon as he's done that, you can't kill Madeline with Warrior Models, and you can't kill Butcher with Warrior Models within her command of seven. Um, which so you're stuck with then, So then you're else. stuck, yeah. So And also, uh, that would mean that possibly um, Coven can't spell him to death, because he also has Aura Midwinter in there. So he's going to be very, very difficult to actually murder at that point, and he's still going to be aggressive across the board. And the Kayazi assassins are going to be able to move their left and right and just kill stuff and yep. be not and caring so much about it. Exactly, and the side to that as well is that they've got removed from play if they need it. Because um, they've got signs yeah. from death. Uh, he can give oh. it with signs Oh, yeah, death. true, with so Butcher. Plus two yeah. Take yeah. Down. Um, so Because Butcher, I don't think, actually needs takedown yeah. in any of the fights. He doesn't need the power team. Um, uh, so Sorry, Chris, to interrupt you, but I think you're going to have to run I'm going to all those tables. <gasps> okay. Sorry. I'm going to do the last list quickly uh, as things are going to start. Uh, the last player is Oscar. Oscar is playing while Fixus Ostrom. And I think we've already seen him come in appearing before. Uh, basically, Fixus uh, many, many bodies on the board. Uh, most of his bodies are able to, to, to do a lot of damage, especially with an alt. ult. They're going to be uh, able to do, reduce the armor. Of, of a one target and then be able to just slam into it with, with a lot of charges. On the other side, uh, Ostrom one, well, uh, bunnies, 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 bunnies. Aaron and Joan, I'm curious to see like if we if have the chance to look at this on the stream, I'm curious to see where it is, but I think we're going to have to, probably going to have uh, to go with uh, Crix matchup. The uh, Ottery Core and the Forge Guard, so we're actually going to have fighting dwarves, not shooting dwarves, but that dwarves, but like dwarves that are going to be uh, on the field and, and and eating with the huge hammer. Okay, um, I'm gonna quickly go to the. Uh, so if I remember well, the scenario for this uh, for this round is actually it is recon two. Um, so recon two, it has two regular zones. It has a lot of things in it. You have flags, you have objectives, which means there's a lot of way to score. Uh, it's a nice, it's a nice update to uh, Recon One. That was uh, one, I think, one of the most liked scenario in um, in uh, Mark Two or in the previous Team Roller, at least. Um, and uh, that's what we, you know, player will be playing on. And I'm looking at it. It looks like it's going to be probably. You know what? Let's switch to the to the game to the table cam. And as we can see, well, the game cam crashed again. <laughs> okay, give me a sec. So we've had an issue with this camera uh, since day one. Basically, every time we, we we get to this camera to get to know what happens, it's a frozen frame of what have happened you know, some time ago. So, uh, huh, huh. let me quickly check what we can do with this. Oh, 
Yes, it is working. So perfect. So So, uh, just, just for the story, um, there is one of the French uh, team which is uh, currently on the stream, but on the other stream, and they, they don't, they're not letting me uh, come in that game. I don't know why. So, um, so I might, I might just, you know, uh, do a couple of, uh, of wings and everything uh, at the people, the players that that I've been training with uh, for, for the last year, uh, right in front of me. They playing against Canada Goose, I think. But what we're going to be looking at in the stream is the other matchup, the other games between Norway and Sweden. And as soon as I'm short enough, who, okay, so it's calling in mercenaries. So players are still looking at each other's lists, trying to decide, you know, what, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do with my own list? Um, actually. So I, I guess the um, the Swedish player might be Oscar, and so it's basically the thing which was discussed: is either uh, you know, dwarves or a lot of bodies with the uh, the excellent lists and the drudges everywhere. And he's going to be playing against Scorn. And double animal tracks. Let me cut back to, to do this from the, the player from Norway. Hans. Hans. Uh, he has either Exorcist 2 or Markita 2. Huh. So basically, the way I see it is that if the mercenary player get to select Pixus, he's probably going to have enough, not sure, but he's probably going to get enough attacks to uh, make the, um, you know, make it complicated for Makita, just in case of those drudges are able to hit at some point, you know, you can only tough so many times and you have only so many furies on Makita, so that could, that could you know, stop. Uh, and on the... You know, and if the Xerxes, uh, you know, the Scorn player takes Xerxes and all those drakes, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna go to town on the list with all the, the models, with the, the warrior models. So it's really a matter of. Uh, okay, looks like they have selected. I'm gonna roll now to decide who is gonna start and who is gonna choose the final warrior. And it feels like the Scorn player might want to be Oh, so you are on the other stream. Oh, yeah. All right, we're on the ring. It's okay. So I don't know if it decided yet who's going to play on which side of the table. But uh, I think I think the school pin is going to be on the right. So. Six is two. Is playing two versus two? Yep. Aha. Uh -huh. So the thing is, if the Swedish player selected 
the um, Osram. It, it took Osram. Yep. Okay. So it was. A f I mean, actually, I thought it, if it was, if it would take, if we have taken like the other list with all the dredges, all the sprays from the Drake, yep. might have been enough to just you know remove everything. So. Okay, boys and girls, just waiting for the final run of the pairing. day. Yeah, it's come in. Unfortunately, one of the players wasn't at the table, so they haven't had to decide. Okay, I might, I mean, you know, at some point, I might just space out and be like, oh, what is happening here? Uh, mercenaries, and. It's being Ostrom. Yep. Can you do me a favor? Just bring up Olav's list. See what he gets out on the table. Sorry? Okay, just open this one. Who? No, no, Olav. Olav, okay. Wait, sorry. I'm gonna guess it's Butcher 3. Um, yeah, it looks like Butcher 3. Yeah. So one of the so players left the table. <laughs> okay, so the matchups that we're, we're wait, able wait to... Wait a sec, I think, I think we actually gonna have to switch the things because of course <laughs> they switch sides when I was writing the... It's okay. Right, this is the Swedish player, right? Yes. Yeah, cool. Keeper is on our toes. Uh. Okay, so just while uh, Quentin's updating that, uh, the matchups we have is on the main table that we'll be covering is uh, obviously uh, it's hands with Xerxes 2, uh, which is the uh, Basilisks list, uh, and two um, Derp Turtles, I can never remember the actual name of them. Um, so they'll be facing off against Ostrom uh, and the Gun Bunnies, so that'll be interesting to watch, see who uh, see who murders who first. Uh, on the next table along, we have uh, Nicholas with, it's actually a Nicholas versus Nicholas, but with different spellings, from what I can tell. Um, so we have Nicholas, who is using Axis, uh, who is against uh, Nicholas, who is using Coven. <laughs> uh, so it's a battle of names to see who has the better spelling, I think. Um, so uh, yeah, Axis into Coven, that should be interesting. I think Axis has got what it takes to take it down. Whether he can power through Coven, I have no idea. Um, um, so, okay, let's let's do let's do our bets now. So, like, what we're doing is okay. Right? So, then so we're going through. We can. Uh, so on the first one, uh, I'm, I I really don't know. I want to say I want to say Xerxes two, but it's really going to depend. I mean, yeah, those are the interactions should be able to go through everything that has eye armor, and the Drakes and the Kriyas should be able to go through all the infantry. Hmm. But uh, you know, Ostrom can just say, hey, I have press three armor. Yeah. Deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, so yeah. So I'm not. I'm not hundred percent. But I. I want to believe. I want to believe, and I want to say Exorcist Two is going to win. So I bet it. I bet. I, I bet it on Exorcist Two on the first. Uh, the first game. This I'm today. Actually, I lost. Go. I hope you've got a good point. <laughs> that's good points. But I mean, he gave a good go. Why is everyone going so quiet all of a sudden? It's yeah, really it's weird. It makes yeah. it difficult to make predictions when um, because we when everyone's being really loud. quiet. Because yeah. uh, we have loud voices <laughs> and we are only 10 feet away from people, so we don't want to obviously give up uh, things. So anyway, so we've got Xerxes 2. I'm actually going for Ostrom. Yeah. You, you might be right. I, I think I'm going to go for Ostrom. Right. Um, just, just because, as you said, the armor 
the armor's all right, and they've obviously got the bubbles, so you're going to see basically them all running in bubbles uh, behind those Kriya auras. Yeah. Um, but I think even the inability to engage properly, so even when they get in, they're going to be able to feed and use the armor, they're going to be able to use bulldoze to push them back, they're going to be use bulldoze to push them out of zones. You know, all these weird things. Yeah. No, nothing has reach. I think um, the enemy to remember, uh, the other man's reaches have reach. That's it. So all those tricks, they've got no way of engaging the, except for those armor reaches. So if they can focus them down, at that point, there is nothing that Xerxes 2 player can do to stop them shooting other than being engaged with them. So. Yeah. Players are all here. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so we'll carry on with that. Sorry, the uh, the other stream's having a bit of an issue over player location. Um, okay. So the next one, as we said, I will go with Coven. You're gonna go with Coven? Yeah. Because I, I did the game and I won. So I did Coven against Axis and I won. So I'm pretty sure somebody else might be able to do it as well. I do, 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 you know, you know, you know why I won? Yeah. Because when you blind a tap. A battle engine, it cannot do anything. Oh god, yeah. And there's nothing to stop that. So we're gonna see just Stygian abysses flying out. I think, out. I don't remember, I think, and yeah, that's, that's the list that has two scavengers and two death reapers. And when I played it, I sacrificed basically one act every return uh, just to make sure those taps, those TEPs, will not be doing anything. Yeah. So to be, to be death reapers. To be absolutely uh, fair. Uh, I was actually could not uh, blind it the next turn, but the thing was so far away that it didn't matter. If Actually, I was no. Thinking. This this is going to oh, be this the gore right shade. This is the gore shade. Oh, oh, but why do you? Oh, wait. So it's the gore shade coven. So you mean the yes. gore shade the, dark the, host? This is we're getting our Nicholas's confuses here. So it's the gore shade dark host against the um, the tap. So in this case. It's gonna be different. I'm not so sure. Because there's one thing, you know, like Gorsha has a spell that just says, if I damage you, I'm gonna take you, you know, uh, what is it called? Gates, get up something, and it moves them all around. The thing is, that, that would that would obviously give enough threat to to, to the, the cavalry and everything else, but yeah. the thing is, with so many balls everywhere floating around, you're not yeah. gonna be the able placement. to just say, you, you can't yeah, place, you yeah, can't, yeah. You can't place, you're gonna say, oh, it's gonna be here just in front of me, you have, to, have to kill the balls, you then don't have, hit it. You don't have anything to hit with yeah. range on yeah. this list, nope. and so you, the only thing you're gonna be able to do is move it around, and the tap doesn't really care, it's not gonna charge, it's just gonna move forward and spray. So in this case, I would give it probably more to the uh, COC player. We're both going for access on this one then. Yeah. Fair enough, right. So the next one we have is Legion off. Both deserve each other. Oh, oh, oh. Um, <laughs> so we've got Fianna 2 into Abby 2. I mean, don't they both lose? <laughs> does, I don't um, remember, does Abby give anything to anybody to hit? Yes. So I would With, probably... When she, it's her feet, I believe, is um, plus strength. Oh, wait. Uh, I think the thing froze. Can you guys, can you, you guys have a frozen see image? Okay, wait. I, it, it just, I think, I think it's just something that this camera does, and we should not rely on it too much. I know it's not that. I just had to. I had to redo it again. I had to. I had to do this basically. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, but I'm afraid it's gonna yeah, happen. Yeah, he's input And now, oh shit! I moved the things like I shouldn't have moved. Sorry. But now we know is that when we put this camera into a certain, we change the uh, settings on this camera. This is why the thing's going uh, crazy. The more you know, the more you know. Right? Yes. So. Hopefully we fix that for you guys. Um, so Absalonia, um, she gets, yeah, so the Alpha Hunter part is when she uh, kills um, kills a model, uh, or sorry, destroys a model, um, then they get plus two speed at max. So that is every turn. So she can do that every turn. So the key there will be making sure that Abby can't kill anything in the Fiona list. As soon as she does that, then that's basically that's one it. off. Her feet becomes one, one plus defense. And then the actual feet itself is the strength uh, flight, which is why the Carnivians are still great, because they gain the flight and obviously gain reach on all attacks. So I think with the speed buff, 
Um, I'm kind of liking the, the RV in this one. Sorry guys, I'm just trying to understand how to fix the camera for the stream. I might have, I might have a solution here. Are we good? I think we are. As soon as I've done this, we're good. We're are good, guys, right, back we are. Let so, me know, guys, if you're seeing... Uh, so yeah, so I, yeah. I think I'm going to jump on Abby on this one. Although it depends if the... If, okay, it comes down to whether the Fianna player gives something for Abby to kill, I think. That, that is what... Um, I, I think I, I, I think I remember I saw four seconds in both lists. Yeah. But it's so easy to just keep those behind, because Ab, how, how is Abby going to kill those, you know? Magic? Uh, the only offensive spell she, she has has a 6 inches range. <laughs> <laughs> okay, big classy. Keep it classy. Um, okay, That's so uh, well, where are you going to go then? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with. I'm going to give you a chance to get back in then. So I'm going to go with, uh, with Abby on this one. I'm going to go with Fianna, just for the sake of this. is a way for me Fianna. to go back. Yeah, I'll pull back points. to the points. Uh, okay, so I think we have, we have Butcher 3. And then it froze again. Okay, so I'm not gonna try to do this anymore. Uh, did say we could. I, I'm just gonna put it. Um, guys, so just to explain to you, every time we're trying to get this camera into HD mode, at some point it just stops working. So I'm sorry, we're gonna have less awesome images. Hang on. If you. Yeah, that's right. And it's gonna be a bit weird. Yeah. So this is the full view. Uh, it's gonna be fine. It's what we've been showing with this, the, the, uh, this morning, and that's it. We'll try to fix it tonight. Hopefully. Okay. I mean, we can still pretty much make things out. Just the important bit. Uh, and I can always obviously go for a walk. Yeah, it's fine. We see the clock. Um, we have enough uh, spaces on the. Uh, so, as we were saying, so um, right, we have. Um, let's believe it must be Tom. Tom Kenneth, sorry, with Coven. So this would be the. Um, Witch Coven. So that's the Covenists. Yep, that against. must be the Witch Coven, and that is into Olaf with Butcher 3. So this was that Butcher 3 we were talking about with the, the KSI. KSI. I kind of feel that's a, that's, a, that's a pretty good drop. And I don't know, because I've not seen her. I mean, I've, I've looked at her a lot and coming out of theme, but I've not seen that. Very you know popular. what? I don't know whether Norway would have thought of that. I, I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but I'm going to go with Butcher 3 because I the player is creative. And I am with you. And also, it's nice because Olaf did spank me on stream uh, at um, Iron Moot, so I'm going to root for him. Makes me feel better if he wins. That obviously, he was you know, very good. And, yeah. You know. Okay. Um, and then the last one uh, we have uh, Amon uh, Oscarson oh. with uh, uh, sorry with Amon, and then Yala with Haley too. Um, <laughs> There are so many dervishes. There are so many dervishes. <laughs> um, so what? So that's going to be six to eight. He's got nine dervishes and two heavy. Yeah, well, two dervishes is not going to take the storm wall down for sure. And you probably can dictate range and also the Templar and the Indictor might not be an issue. Although the Indictor has blessing if I remember well on his weapon. So mm. that feels like there's going to be a game. It's not going to be one sided at all. I kind of, I'm wondering if. I want to go, you know what? I'm going to go with the Men Off player because we don't see enough Men Off yeah, these days. Yeah, let's do Men Off. It's, so it's, it's, it's the round that we're going to bet on the people, on the faction we don't see or the people that I'm, are being I'm going to think, I'm going to predict that one. It's going to come down to how many dervishes he can knock down before he has defeat. Because I think if he can well, shoot down to How many three. players does he have? How many uh, you know, magic shooting does the other player has? Because um, it's, it's pretty easy just to say, Coyer, hey, just magic weapons. And then I think there's only one online in the release. So it's really going to go on the storm wall. Yep. And depending on the range, it's only going to be two power 15 shots. And there is one shield guard, which is the Templar. The Reliant isn't even as useful with the knockdown. for Because the Reliant has a knockdown oh, yeah. gun, um, which is useful with Energizer. And then it can move the knockdown casters. And then obviously blow it into it. Um, and I'm on having heightened reflex. Is heightened reflexes? It basically doesn't, he doesn't his care. Yeah, as if it's, um, if it's down, he's like, okay, I don't care. So really, we're looking at we've got two fireflies and stormwall. 
um, the Storm Strider. So they, they're possibly... Is Storm Strider? Is it like I'm just thinking of Electro Leaps. These are like these oh. scary things for Ammon. But it's about 10. It comes down to, I think, there is how much experience the uh, Man of player has got in Sigma. The, the, the way I see it is that if it's a Man of player, he has been grinding the death out of his lists, and so he must know what's, going, what's coming for him. It's not like, you know, Haiti to... I think every people, every player at WTC must have tried multiple yeah. times to see how they're gonna. Because positioning gonna is gonna be ridiculous on that. Um, but yeah, so so that is the there is so the result so just far. Just to see a side note, you see the the contribution of Sarah player here, the yep. one. All the um, white ish models are mine actually. Uh, <laughs> Quentin here is supplying the models to most of the WTC. <laughs> to be honest. I think at, I think to four players. I came with a whole box of things I was not I'm not gonna play anyway. So. <laughs> it's fine. Oh, it's fun, you know, it's like it's like I'm playing a little bit. You, you know, for surrogates. Okay, so let's have a look. So we've got um, Hans one to go first. Oh wait, uh, you know the lightning cannon is actually wait. No, that's disrupt. It's not magical weapon, right? The cyclone. Uh, yes, it's right. disruption. Okay, so yeah. it's not magical. So too bad because disrupting all those jacks might have been a big thing. Yeah. But you never know because does the net thing. Thing is, can the choir? Is there enough choir to stop all the shooting? Um, let's have a look. How many of them do we drop? So otherwise, uh, we just we're just seeing uh, the uh, school players moving all of the min and the max, a lot of drakes uh, into this hill. So they're gonna get the very high defense if a Kree I can get next to them and just you know, cover all its aura. Yep. So, score player, what does he do to get them? Obviously, he's up, he's got the aura out, he's ran everything. So, my, my guess Ow. right here is that he's gonna run up, and I think his game is trying to understand, I'd see at some at which point he has to, you know, see the balance between. I'm gonna have to feed to make sure that I go past this armor yeah. to make maximum damage, but at one point is my opponent going to feed. So I think this is why right now he's bunkering up into all those you know zones that's gonna give him a lot of um, you know bonus defense bonuses. Mm. And at some point, you know, he's gonna have to pull the trigger and say, okay, this is just too I feed. Let's see what happens. How does he deal with the Fury Man? Doesn't care. So even for all of them running and stuff? Now, in, the thing is, that I'm, I'm, what I see here is that at some point he's going to have to pull the trigger. The moment he pulls the trigger, the moment he's going to get try to get an edge on the, the old game. So if he can get the edge at that point, at that point then it's the following it's, turn. It's, it, so you know what? You let the Kriya triggers, they're at four. They're probably going to miss. Yeah. You still have going a few you know, drakes everywhere, and you have two anima animatoraxes. So if those guys are not dead, you're good. Mm. So you're just making sure they're in the ten. Yep. Oh, Xerxes there. <laughs> that tiniest of control so areas. <laughs> such such a huge flag, such a huge mount. But he's got such ten inches, tiny, so you know, as long as he uses it correctly, it should be fine. I've heard twelve inches is the right number. That's oh. what I've heard. The extra two inches makes all the difference. I've heard, I've, heard, I've heard that a lot. I, I, I think I've read it somewhere on the internet. Ah, it was an uh, internet forum about spaceships, though. Different, different thing. Um, so anyway, in the chat, are we all good? Are we? Er, everything seems to be running well now at this end. Um, oh, something's just gone on that Drake, I'd imagine. I have actually looked at these, and unfortunately, telling the difference between them is going to be nigh on impossible, because the only way to do yeah. it is there is a diamond shaped thing on the top of the Kree's head, I believe. Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to see but that. But it's flat armor and we're not going to be able to see that from here. So um, generally I would imagine it's just going to be the, the ones that are located centrally to the groups are going to be the Kree's. Um, I'll just have to go for that. There's something I want to check about this battle engine, uh, you know, the mercenary one, because I'm pretty sure there's something That's about... Crystal? That's that 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 we all know about. And I think there's it something also about has an additional dice against large bases. Oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> I believe it kept that. Um, I'll just check. But yeah, I'm pretty sure. You know, you mean to hit, right? It's the same. They would the be same. useless. No, no, it's damage. It's the same oh. rule that the marauders so, have. So bulldoze, dual attack, girded periscope. Oh. Hmm. Okay. 
Reinforcements. Yep, siege weapon. Oh, so siege, critical stagger and siege weapon. So can I can I change my bet? <laughs> it's it's on them. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I don't. I don't. How many? How many? Oh, it's two three plus one. I oh, know. Okay, it's so on the siege breakers. Okay, yeah, cool. The siege okay, breakers I thought, I thought themselves. Been like, but yep. it's power fifteen, so it's gonna be power fifteen boosted, basically. So minus four. Yep. So we're looking at only an Osram has seven five damage. effect. Uh, come on. <laughs> Um, uh, okay. Uh, although uh, it depends. It, on the Austrian player, he might throw it on the mortar, and then hot swap, and then just be, and that'll just be him hot swapping. But that is all of his focus each turn, so he's not doing anything else with it. Um, I would just put it in the bed and it. You know, it's it's four dice, dice off. The, three. the thing, the oh, thing here four, is that uh, really the five. thing that is refreshing the uh, mercenaries list is that anything that could you know open a can, <laughs> basically. Yeah. So if they can't open cans anymore. Well, at some point, it's gonna end. So that hill is really, really important. Yeah, so being able to put so many I'm just trying to think in it. Would it have been better picking the other side? Because there is a hill that side as well. I, I, the thing is, like, it would be as the squad players with all you know three huge bases. I will not take a side with an obstruction. Just because it's so complicated to maneuver around. But that's what I mean. So the this this scorn player went first. The other player with the dwarfs uh, has got second. He he's got that unit all the way up at the top, but you know it can't score up there. There's no there's nothing. It's not facing anything. It looks like everything is shifted, you know, centrally. So I kind of feel that that unit of dwarfs uh, and those drillo isn't going to do much. On that side of the table. Maybe you know I don't know if the. Uh I probably guess that the uh, school player wanted to get the uh, single element Rex within the uh, animus of the Kree that must have been used somewhere. Mm -hmm. But I'm thinking that if the school player is already towing both zones, yep. it's basically saying, okay, my stuff can score in both zones. Your stuff has to come into my zones. Yep. Deal with it. Kind of. I wonder what the difference like on the other on the top zones. Really, sorry. Yep. But basically. I think Oscar can just take one of his tracks, put it in between the objective and the obstruction, and it's fine. Mm. And I think it's worth taking one of his gun bunnies and putting it right there and be like, that's a certain amount of points of my list that's not going to move, but I'm fine with it. I think one of the things to note as well is that that obstruction is actually really useful for the uh, Austrian player, and that might be why I picked that side, because if you can get a solo onto there, I can't see what is there but if you can get a solo onto that flag you can't contest within four um, that obstruction is basically giving you this massive barrier of not being able to contest and true. a funnel so that's actually probably what that unit's there for is it's going to run into line with that where that the obstruction is keep everything away from that flag and then he'll just get double points every turn so we'll get points in here points in his opponent this is already going into the most of his players way yeah <laughs> um it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, I'm looking at the French team as well. Just oh yeah, we, 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 we unfortunately have the French team right in front of us. Seen, so Quentin is a bit art. distracted in this game. Have you seen the wonderful art that we all have on our backs? I have indeed. It's beautiful. Is that people? is Denegra and... Not at all. Not Denegra. Um, the, the woman... The, the Morten Ibra. Morten Ibra. And a scrap from, you know, it's actually Asterix. And the other person is uh, Falbala, which is another uh, character from this. Astro Exoplex. Absolutely. For this I, I went to the comic book museum in uh, Brussels. Oh. And they had loads of things there, and Tintin, and it was. That we, we said just random side story, because that's what happens. I could um, just, just to show people on the stream what we're talking yep, about. I don't know if I'm going to. You know. That's that. So um, we, we obviously get to uh, Brussels, and uh, I'm with uh, Team Lines, uh, travel over, and... Um, oh, sorry guys, it looks like, sorry, it looks like our, that, our... Uh, We're just checking... Uh, Why is that going on? Maybe just our, our, on our end, because here is, it's not frozen. No, oh, no, everything's fine. Okay, um, yes, yeah, so I came over uh, to Brussels with uh, Team Lines, and obviously the team doing the practice games, but they said, you know, should we go do a bit of culture? And I was like, oh, culture? Oh. 
and then they said there's a comic book museum and I was like I'm in culture and comics I mean it turns out it was I mean, it was really good to be fair um, but yes it was uh, lots of Tintin and Asterix and all that kind of stuff so yeah, some cool. cool stuff yes the, uh, the prime uh, was it like the 80s 80s 90s was that the big uh, big era yeah I think was, so yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah, yeah I think so I mean for Asterix at least yeah but we've been using this theme uh, you know the Asterix and Obelix theme for three years now I think Oh, hang on. We'll just go back to the game now. So, Something. what um, what Oscar is now doing is he's checking the threat on the Animantrax, but because of that obstacle, it, even though it has reach, it can't. But with the objective and turn two, he can't harm the objective. Um, so we can't get rid of it, and that means that he can't actually get the Alamantrax close enough to that driller. So that driller is actually really safe, even though he's pretty much out in the open. Well, um, you know, you can shoot at the objectives. It's a large base. Yeah. It's going to be power 15. It's going to be uh, a couple of shots. Can't harm it until um, uh, in the next end. turn. Yeah, second, second turn. So with uh, the hands next turn, he's not going to be able to kill it. So that's kind of given that really nice one get plus for 2017. It does nothing for the Ostrom player. It, it doesn't prevent them, doesn't block out of sight. Um, so a few of the guns have started. Uh, looks like something missed. Oh, that must be a, um, rock, is it a rock ram, they call it. It's got the knockdown gun. Sorry, just bringing up that list. Uh, three drillers gonna Hearn and John what has he fired that changed direction maybe it's Hearn and John ah no it's the mortar he's been firing the mortars that's why that's what it was um, yes yeah, so you get two free artillery corps which on direct hit do ridiculous damage with fire for effect on so I, I suppose it depends on where that would want to go between the um, the battle engine and the mortars but the, you'll definitely see a lot of very good firepower flying out uh, the hill's going to help um, it's basically those those the small uh, you know warby star plus four defense uh, yeah they're going to be something 17 and 16 for the queers. Yeah. So that's something. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. But I think it's that, that that's the thing is that against a normal shooting list, that would be like, yeah. just guns just wouldn't work at that point. But because everything is boosted, it kind of still feels a bit. Okay. He can move that. So he's coming in. He's just getting himself. Oh. So I think he's just trying to be out of the threat range uh, before he starts plowing in. He's got a token in front of him, so I think it's possibly fire for effect. Is he picking up three dice? He is indeed. Yeah, so that didn't two, look high, uh, though. No. Um, so I think he might have missed that one. Probably sitting on Straight back. That could have been the worst oh. shot ever for, <laughs> for Good, a fire for effect. Uh, is there second one miss? No, that's it. Oh, no, he has two big shots, right? Yes, he has two big shots. Uh, okay. um, So yeah, so this is basically how I think the game is uh, going to progress, is just the Austrian player advancing into gun range, making sure he stays out of threat. Next turn, Xerxes is going to have to just either run in or just try and jam, try and survive yeah, those guns. This is the this difficulty is really the, there, right? I think it's with mobility, I mean the new mobility, the mm. new rule that he has that is basically mobility with a Pathfinder. Uh, the, 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 the drakes are really able to move 8 inches, spray 8 inches, that's a 16 inch threat. Yep. If the mercenary player hasn't fit it yet and he doesn't have so much armor, there's something that could be done here. Because I think he mustn't, I'm not sure if he's feated. But the option has definitely gone already because the, because the R of keeps out. Um, That's your feet token, so so I don't think yeah I don't think he has. I'm trying to figure out is that Ostrom up by the woods there? It has the right shape. <laughs> you mean um, a small thing? Small thing, but no, he's got this kind of weird. I think that is um, him there. I think. Oh yeah, behind. Like, just yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, he's can't measuring. Be seen. He's just measured where, where the control area is. So, so the question is, there's a couple eight inches. I don't think you can get the angle. 
to spray Ostrom? To spray Ostrom. Nah, it's going to be complicated. But he can, he can just spray, you know, I don't, Not to I don't spray remember. at him, but I'm thinking if he sprayed at the driller yeah, to get to Ostrom. The, the way I see it is that if, if there is, you know, enough gun bunnies forward, you know, enough, yep. uh, it might be enough for, for the exertion player to just say, okay, I'm going to feed because now I know all my poor 14s, uh, you know, they're going to they're gonna matter. They're going to yep. break something. Just, just feed mechanics, now. So well, they're well, going to matter. Plus, you know, uh, actually, this is where, okay, it's really what we see here. Oscar is being very conservative about moving forward too fast. Yep. I don't think we're going to see those dwarves you need, you know, moving at all. And I think the other, the other side of it, as we said, is if you try, you can't jam. Hmm. He can only jam with the large bases. Why, 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 you know, because of bulldoze. Just why, it just means he pushes them all wanna, back. Why do you want to just expect to jam the other list? With? I mean, is he going to sacrifice all beast to put something in front of it? I mean, it might be a plan actually. Yeah. You know, he can right, run pretty so fast. The drillers run into the top zone, so that's going to be say as expected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's going to be unless he sends something up, um, and I think that means that if he's not feated, when he feeds, I would imagine that means the driller actually can threat the rest of that zone. You know what would be actually fun to see? Is the, uh, the tin can shooting Xerxes, and with all those bonus die, <laughs> just kill it. Just, just oops, I forgot about transfers. Okay, so it's about fifteen <laughs> boosted. What? So that's a good. I like that from Oscar. He's put he's put that in a place. He's also got the um, those dwarfs. They are really keeping back though. They they are yeah, aware of that. That's threat. what I'm. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Is that it must be. You know, I think it's going to force the exertion player to just come forward, and it doesn't have so many places pieces to yeah. trade. And at some point, he's going to say, "Okay, I'm going to push the button. I'm going to say plus three speed. I'm going to get into your face." Yep. And that's it. And I think Ostrom is moving towards that flag because he might not have. Let's just have a look at the list. He has no solo. And in that right list. now, uh, you know, maybe the exertion player can say, "Okay, we're going to do." Uh, this thing like I'm gonna shoot you're gonna shoot I'm gonna shoot you're gonna shoot but this game is definitely in favor of the mercenaries player there is yeah if if Drake's had anything that would be like um, you know you shoot first you move afterwards yeah that could be a thing or you know you uh, what's, the, what's the name of that spell you know you advance you shoot you kill something or you do touch something and you, you move back Kelly says this um, oh um, refuse uh, yes yeah but as long as you hit, you get two. But two I, I don't feel like Xerxes is somebody that would have in his spell is something called refuge. No, it would be more like he's got sprints. If he sprints, but he's not got an arc at all. <coughs> Yeah, I, I do like the idea. I must admit, when I was thinking of Scorn, that the idea of just Xerxes charging around, hitting things, and then sprinting back away just sounds wonderful. I just maybe it was. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's going to sprint forward. Maybe mm -hmm. just just straight in the face. Um, I can't imagine that I was seeing a. Assassination attempt. On this turn? No way. Not on this turn, but I'm thinking next turn. Obviously, he's going to feed. I'm wondering whether. Would you, as the Merc player, if you, I mean, if you had a line on him, would you try it if it wasn't risky, or would you just go for the long? For me, I, I just wait. I have more guns than he has. Yep. Uh, he has a lot of armor and defense because of all those Kriyas and those heals and everything. Probably going to miss a lot, think, but there's no need checking to whether that. Yeah, can what, get the spray on Ostrom. What, what is he gonna do? Just do one damage? Nothing. Yeah. Oh, but it feels like Ostrom is what, 17 armor? <laughs> yeah. So he's minus three. He has probably 17 or 16 boxes. I'm wondering what. Well, you can't really do because, you know, math wise, yeah. you only you do triple six. Well, I'm just wondering if, if that's is that just one that's in range? More than one? I don't know. If he can, if he can blow a hole through that driller. Um, is he going to be able to get? They don't have assaults. They don't, you know, they have to move and shoot. And even if we are just talking about hitting the drill, I mean, it's going to require basically the animatrixes to shoot yeah. as well. This thing is going to get cover because there's obstruction, and obstruction next to it. So, and we see a marker with a point, but I don't think is there any point here. But we are round two for sure. Oh, no, he's marked the 10. And we're on turn two for sure then? Yeah. Or round or two. Round two, yes. Round two. Did I lose the keyboard? <laughs> so many things are happening here. Uh, space two. 
I have the power now. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not only do we have the, the technology, but it's now me. I would have been blinking here. I think the battery is gone. There are two batteries here though. Okay, let me see if I can get something more here. Yeah, Might work. Okay, so anyways, the other one tracks is coming in. It's doing some shots. Why is that shooting again? Uh, probably against the jack, and it did pretty yeah. well. Yeah, that's yes. quite a bit of damage there. That's very, you know what? The uh, Sweden player, that's awesome what he did. All the grids. Yes. In one sheet. I've actually heard. Can see this. It's awesome. I've actually heard that that's meant to be illegal. Really? Yeah. What? Um, just because it's not the it's not the actual thing. So there was. So people could cheat and, and put less or more boxes. Yeah, basically, it, it was because I don't know where it was, and I can't remember what it was, but someone had made one and they added uh, on. I just wanted to point out something. There's a French player uh, actually, on the table. I got. I got. We just gotta share the. There you go. So he's on the table. We can just see an ass. He is sticking out into his game. Yeah. When when you're when you're French, you see, um, you take this totally seriously, and if you can, you climb into your opponent. He, he is actually the captain of this team. He is the captain. He is the captain. So at the moment, sure what he is trying to shot, show, he's gonna show his opponent. Well, actually, we tend to do this. <laughs> it's not the first time I'm seeing this. So. I mean, if it gets him the perspective he needs, then you know. You know, it's all yeah, it's all a matter of perspective when you have to call it, you know to, to calculate angles and everything. It's okay. And the camera I mean, is moving. And the camera, moving, yeah. So what the fuck I would happening? imagine that the uh, <laughs> the the muse, the muse yeah, people are not it. impressed at the moment <laughs> with the uh, with the uh, just basically being a player in the way in the stream. Um, it's quite funny though. I quite like that. Um, right. So anyway. Um, Shall I go do my first update to the other game? Oh, yes. We're about half an hour in, so I'll go see how everything Have fun. Ah, so many things going on here. Uh, so, Barsman, and I don't know if you got an answer to your question, but yes, it has a rule that says. Uh, you know, it's an additional die against huge bases, and yes, he's playing against a you know, list with three huge bases, so that's gonna hurt. And the scorn player seems to be going in, uh, and, and, and I think I just missed that, but do I see, is there a feed token? I don't really see it, but um, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure what what the scorn players would do. I mean, there is he has to do something this turn. He cannot just stay back because Team the, the mercenary player is just gonna slowly grind him out of this game. And looking at top zone, he's gonna be able to score at some point and just be look. I scored. I can wait. I, I can wait for you now. It's okay. Uh, so he he has to do something. And, and now this is a turn where Oscar is defeated, so he doesn't get this plus three armor bonus to to all of his army. And and so basically. Um, this is the moment of never if we want to do you know a couple of damages to to those of, you know some of these war jacks and try to to hit them. Oh, the feet wasn't the feet was pop. This is basically more what I was saying. Um, there is you know there's an opportunity to to do some damage here and try to see maybe afterwards what's left. Uh, those are pretty good rolls thanks to Xerxes' feet. You know five, six, three. It's definitely above average. Uh, and again. And okay, so it must be a good roll as well if you're removing a three. Oh, that's the bad engine, but even if with, with such a you know like a roll like this, uh, it doesn't, doesn't doesn't seem to last so many boxes. Or maybe he's using you know he's removing them in pairs. Okay, so. I really hope this is going to work for the uh, scorn players that's going to be able to remove enough threats. <laughs> so, the This corn player is feeding is going in. Hmm? 
as I as I said, uh, the, the spawn player just feed it and okay. it's going in. So we already going in for the sprays. You know, yeah. So it's a couple of damage in there. And not on this one though. So what's happening? Um, okay, so um, in the game, obviously, we can see, which is fine. Um, in the uh, Convergence Coven, there is literally a sea of veins. Like, it is, they are all just spread um, across the table. The access player is about two inches. So it's inches. two, right? Yeah, so okay. they're, they're about two inches away from the back of the two rectangular zones in a line. And there is just they're just in a mass a mass line. Um, one thing I did realize is that obviously, um, whereas in this Ostrom is the only person that can actually claim the flag, uh, Axis has a million drones that are solos to just keep putting yeah. onto flags and things. So that's actually a bonus. Um, it did look like a couple of the Crix uh, models had already gone missing from the various units. Like uh, the, it looked like one of the min it was the min rally unit it was down to one cavalry yeah. member. Um, so, so they're taking the show, but it was just the fact. I think because uh, the time, so. yeah, the time I was there, the Coven player was um, about halfway across the board. I so by imagine. Coven, you mean Gorshed player again? Ah, oh, I keep saying Coven. Yeah, <laughs> Dark Host player. Apologies. Um, yeah, so the Dark Host player was about halfway across the board um, at that point. So the question there is. Um, uh, I think the uh, the convergence player just started, so I think that's the feet, and he gets another t sorry another turn with the crits all uh, all close, and the other need to servitors, all this kind of thing. I think that's going to be the painful turn. So I mean, if we go over there in a minute and there's been two taps removed, then obviously the game could change. Yeah. Um, I don't but see it. at the moment it's not looking good. Um, okay, so the, <laughs> the Legion table is hilarious. They are miles away from each other, and all they they're are doing is just other, doing. Like, yeah, they are doing massive measurements across the board at each other, and they've got proxies and they've got that, and it's just. Yeah. One of the jacks got removed here. Ah, so Two one of the maybe, or there's one that is. Next Looks like one of the one. drillers came off. And there's a gun, but it must be uh, pretty beaten up. I'm not sure what they are. You know, that, that's the thing. If if he can remove enough of those drillers, yes, yeah, so you can drill on a. It might be, you know, it might be enough to keep the Elemental Rex up, and the Elemental Rex can then try to open the tin can, and then it's just going to be a game of surviving. Because, you know, even with the feet, the, the Drake doesn't really need anything to kill those uh, dwarves. No. It's pretty easy to hit them, and it's power for 14. Well, what's going to be the armor? 20. Okay, 22. They're still going to need a higher. Level. Still, but it's feasible. It's not like it's it's off the charts. Uh, I mean, I'm, do, I'm doing a feature and it will be, but afterwards, it's just me. It's it's just possible. Okay, so because the armor tracks. Um, so just so he's just going to be firing, going to be exchanging blows the battle engines. Um, yeah. So the Legion one, I, I literally think that's going to come down to whoever makes the first mistake, whoever places a model in the wrong place. That's kind of how we how we said it was going to go anyway. But yeah, the the they're, they're literally out. Some of them are even outside of either side zone, and they're just like groups of them just staring at each other, which is just like, really crazy. Um, okay, so then we have. Um, Ah, right, yeah, so it was Butcher um, against the, um, coven. the actual Coven. Yeah. The actual Coven that I keep forgetting and not saying Dark Host, Dark Host Coven. Um, so we have Butcher next to Ruin facing off directly opposite to a unit of Bane Riders and Wraith Engine. So to me, that's exactly where he wants to be. He, he wants to get rid of that Wraith Engine and get rid of um, any other jacks on that because then he can run the table. And he can be just sitting in the middle and be like, yeah. So I don't know, and I'm not sure who won the first roll, um, but it definitely looks, you know, like the Butcher player has got the plan, which is to take down that Wraith Engine, protect Malvin from any um, any spells, um, any anything else like that, and then yeah, he can just kill things with his heart of um, and nothing on that table is then scary to him. Okay. To him. So, I mean, they're not quite engaged properly, but they're, uh, it's in the right place, we think, for the Butcher 3. Uh, and then on the, the last table, uh, there's two dervishes down already. I can see two dervishes at the back. Um, Haley just feated. She walked into the far hand zone, kind of very similar to where our other driller is um, in this one. Um, so what's happened there is she's just feated. I think uh, Yellow only got six tokens. Um, and he had to, therefore, do everything on the right-hand side. Um, on the left, there was two dervishes in the zone, and the battle engine wasn't in the zone at that point. So I'm not sure if it hadn't activated, or if it's there for 
because the difficulty there as you can see if you've got two dervishes that are still operational near the battle engine um, yes they get bumped away but I'm pretty sure um, that he'll be aware of that um, so they're going to do some pretty damage oh just take the zone um, there was a heavy uh, I think it was the indicta the one that filled the spells yeah. so that was in the zone inside Helios so then it can't be TK'd out it can't be dominated out there something? so it's just preventing uh, that score so I mean it looked like I think Yala at that point was going to be um, scoring on his flag but it looked like the other side of the board the only thing that side of the board was the battle engine and he had two at least two that I could see operational dervishes that were in threat of the zone. The thing with this battle engine is that you can charge in, hit, get the synergy up, you get pushed one inch, probably get the second attack in, but then that's it. Yep. So you actually you can actually put your focus somewhere else, let's put it this way. Yeah, well I mean it kinda of works in one way because you charge. I mean you get three you can get three focus into them. So if they charge, that's the one focus. Um, they're probably gonna hit but you know, they could boost a hit maybe. A hit with the boosted damage, and then you can choose either to boost the next damage before you get knocked away. So really, you're kind of getting four semi-reliable, fully, uh, fully boosted damages. Oh, I think damage rolls here on those jacks. Some more damage coming through. Yeah. Body so the thing is, is I don't think... Through. Ah, that's it. Okay. I don't think the the the, the mercenary player can actually, you know, uh, fix those jacks if something gets taken away. So. Don't think they're right. Yeah, there's no healing. But in I that don't list. see anything being broke. No, everything is gonna, still gonna be functional on this yeah. on this driller. My thought so. is the thing that might have thrown this back in his way is I think he's defeated. He's obviously come in to do. Uh, now he's kind of giving up that top zone. Yeah, yeah that's definitely because just, next turn. I mean, up. right now actually. Yeah, uh, I don't know what's next to it, but might nothing, be a, nothing in that zone. There's so. next to the flag. I mean, uh, that the is a bunny. Side. Sorry, a bunny. Yeah. But the bunny don't, bunnies don't score on flags. The bunnies so. don't score. He's just there. But it's gonna be. He's gonna be able to score one point, whatever. He'll score yeah. one point. Um, I mean, we have just got two because this is round two, but this is top of round two. So at the bottom, oh, true, but he's, so he'll get two, and he'll be able to contest. Might be even able to. I probably don't think he's going to shoot the objective. I can't imagine that happening. Um, so the question there is, he's been quite defensive with the Alman tracks and the um, and it's Casta. Uh, so they're pretty far away. Has he done enough damage on his feet? Because now Ostrom is going to feet. Yeah, as we see. definitely not gonna do much damage. Some of the Zion tracks is probably gonna be able to charge in and get a couple of things destroyed. I mean, I think I think this is basically what what the school player expects. Okay, I've given you five drakes. You gotta have to deal with them. Yeah. Because otherwise, they're gonna hit you at some point. It's not gonna be interesting for you to kill. And there is not really a reason for the, for Oscar for the mercenary player to just stay there and look at those drakes. Yeah. Although I'm pretty sure most of them are gonna uh, frenzy. It's not going to happen. Actually, this is one of the situations where uh, Exorcist being who he is and the amount of fear on the table is so high that you could actually just not touch them and expect like all of them to frenzy kind of and be like, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Probably going to be two that are going to have to, to, to be, to be, you know. My thoughts on this so far, because it's looking, as if, I don't know if it has gone over. Yeah, it looks like it's gone over to the Austral player. So I can see feet. I can see that driller killing one to two of those uh, Drakes or basilisks. Um, the other driller is just going to be running in, uh, and the dwarves are going to be running in. And the idea there is that they're going to be um, ready for the next turn, and that's quite important. Um, you're also going to get um, the hammer dwarfs that are behind the siege engine will be able to go into the uh, into those drakes, so potentially remove a few of them. Well, it's pretty. I mean, I, w I would, you know. The drakes are meant to kill the dwarves. If the dwarves kills the drakes first, yeah. then you're going to have to find a solution for those. Yeah, so at that point, I would expect this turn's going to end with those five dead, more than likely. The feet up. Um, and then at that point is, can he remove... So at that point, he's going to remove, try and remove the dwarves, try and remove that driller with the Alantrixes. If he can't do it at that point, well, then it's just you know, game over anyway. But even if he does, you're going to have the driller from the top. You're going to have those dwarfs from the top. Uh, they're going to be able to run down. And you're going to have the siege engines still. You're going to have all the mortars still. You know, there's, there's a lot still there. Even if he takes... Because in this trade, he's kind of now traded that for basically two and a half jacks-ish. Um, 
So, I mean, it obviously does happen. Obviously, everything can go, you know, could happen that way. But I do think that the Austrian player is is in a good position. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he's going to go up on scenario. Austrian's going to be in a ridiculously safe place on the other, other side of that uh, building. There might be a way for the uh, exorcist player if, if the dice are, you know, in his favor yeah. a bit with those two elemental axes to, you know, at the end uh, finish the grind out the dwarves yep. and start, you know, doing enough damage to the Violent Giant so it's not going to be a, an issue so much and be able to, at the end, finish the last driller and, and you know, win the side of the zone. The issue being the top side of the zone here. The, you know, Oscar is going to be able to score every turn. Yes. And on the, at the bottom, Scott it's going to be a every battle turn every turn. As well. uh, why? Well, at this rate, if he takes, he's going to have that gun bunny. So even when the driller leaves that top zone, the gun bunny will be able to score. On the zone, yeah. On the zone. And then Oscar will be on the flag. So he will score two in his turn. And then unless something is brought up, then he'll score another two. And to be fair, I don't think he can actually get anything close enough to stop the flag from scoring. So that flag is going to score every other turn. Oh, sorry, every turn. The, the zone probably every other turn. So actually, the Austrian player kind of doesn't need to be dangerous. I mean, he could, but he doesn't need to risk anything. Um, yeah, he can just be there. Right? Anything. So he's just what he's just seen there is he's measuring with the uh, gun bunny to make sure he can spray both of them uh, with the one spray by aiming at the model further away. Um, you may then go, oh no, he's got in the way of the driller. Uh, but Ostrom gives um, martial discipline to all Brulic models, so the Jacks can so go they can't each other. So, yeah, okay, that's why I've seen it at some point I was asking myself, one of the things I wanted to check on the Ballinger himself is that, hey, maybe the Ballinger has a rule that allows the, the dwarves to move past it, but it's actually Ostrom, right? Yeah. So you could have basically dwarves hidden nicely behind a banana yep. giant and then and they just, just come like, straight through. Okay. It's the same with the bunnies as well. The bunnies can go back through each other. They can use, they can go through each other to then bulldoze. One bunny oh. can bulldoze an entire line away from a from a line of. This is uh, very uh, strong. It is. This is what I was saying at the beginning. Like the, it's the uh, the, and there's nothing to stop it there either because it's the two inches. It's only the Ant-Man tractors that then will continue. A can't be pushed, but B would stay in melee and stop the gun bunnies from shooting. But one they're dead and I think that's obviously why he's trying to protect them more but once they're dead there's nothing that, that you may hit them you may you know, hit them each turn and that will stop them from shooting but that's the only way is actually to kill them because otherwise they'll just bulldoze you away and, uh, and crack on, on. Yeah. <laughs> um, just one in the last room oh no he's not activated yet okay He's going to be able, able to score two this, this game. And, uh, can he actually just run something on the bottom zone just to say, hey? Well, he's got that bunny. I wouldn't be surprised if that bunny was to advance. You know what? I'm asking myself. And then spray up through those okay. drakes. Do you see the flag on the bottom zone? Yes. There is something next to it. The, which is not Xerxes, because Xerxes this seems not to be touching the flag. Um, right, we're pretty good on. Right, let's remember the keyboard doesn't work. And I don't think I saw a solo in his list. I think it's probably another yeah. Drake, a Kriya, or something. Yeah. So he's kind of formed a bubble there to stop. Is he going to be able to see the... Sorry, boys and girls, we currently don't have a mouse, so if you've ever used a laptop uh, mouse thing before, you'll understand my current pain. Uh, right, so Norway... Oh, no, it's okay, so, yes, there isn't a solo there. Uh, so he can't be scoring on his flag. So it must just be another basilisk holding back to with the aura. Did he uh, wait? Did he just shot and like with stagger? I'm wondering what those things are. I'm sorry, I was looking at the games here because there seems to be a disagreement on the rule. I think you should just call the judge. Uh, crazy stuff going on. Uh, and I will admit though now the French have got off the table. So there is no one currently on the table from the French team, which is a bonus when it comes to the WTC. <laughs> oh. 
George Calling. Um, very serious here at the WCC. Clean play, Paramount. Um, I think the judge is going to rule in favor of the Canadian team here. Okay. Um, right, anyway, so back to this table. Um, so yes, yeah, so there's nothing scoring, able to score on that flag. Um, if he doesn't put something into the zone, which very strange if he didn't, but yeah, there would be nothing to um, stop him. But I mean, he's moved, he looks like he's moved the battle engine now um, to give some of the dwarfs through. I mean, they can get through anyway, but to give them more of line of sight. And that's um, one break down. Um, so yeah, I think if that's a gunner, unfortunately it's a bit difficult to notice. He, can he just still has an activity else from, so still no feet. Still no feet. That's right, he's doing all this damage, and still no feet. <laughs> Because I think, um, I think o Ostrom is one of those casters that has a 10 inch control rear, right? No, the 12. Oh, 12, okay. Yeah, so 12. you will actually get the. Uh, yeah, yeah. Gamma? Uh, so the gunner, what happened? Just an error of the gris and the damage marked on the mauvais list. Okay. Um, Sorry, I was inquiring what was happening on the French tables. <laughs> It's just a matter, uh, it put the damage on the wrong uh, beast. Oh. So it's being fixed right now by the judge, and that's it. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so that gunner has just advanced to touch the color of the zone uh, and has just shot one of the uh, drakes in the face. So, uh, does he gonna have, like, is he gonna have the range to charge? Do you think he's trying inches? to save the feet? I don't know why he would. He's doing. Yeah, and okay, I don't so know what that token is, but that, I'm pretty sure it's the feet. I think that token, no, I think that's where that is a proxy for where Ostrom is going to be. But if he, the feet is, is a pulse or an aura? Let us check. Um, currently, so it is a aura. No, pulse. Yeah. So it can do it, then move. It can do it. Yeah. So I, I think don't think it did. It did. Yeah, we, we, you know, we, we look away for a couple of One seconds. One second. This is where we don't know what's happening. Uh, yes. Wait, there you go. Yeah, that looks like the war machine merc coin. Yeah. So yes. Yeah, so it's done that. That then gives the threat range to... Oh, it's checking now. Wait, <laughs> maybe I'm too far. <laughs> but I don't think it's going to need more than three dwarfs to kill, or, you know, four dwarfs, no, two each. Yeah. And that's it. Especially considering they're already hurt. And pretty bad. Oh, so... Mark says it's an aura, so currently. So it's while and currently. If you feed it currently, it's whatever is currently within the feed that's going to be affected. If it's while, it is when wherever the caster is. Am I? I'm very sure it's pulse. <sighs> Good questions. Have a look, see if we can find anyway, so willing. But anyway, so those those drakes in are summary pounded in the face. Yes, dwarves come in, huge and hammers, murderize the uh, this, this drake basilisk. has taken enough things, enough hammer attacks. Oh wait, this is a one one, a four, and a two. So I'm it's still pretty alive. sure it's still enough. He must have multiple attacks. So. That hits, it's a crit. And it is probably gonna kill it. Yeah, I think it's a pulse because I've just checked Nemo's feet as an example, and his is while within you gain the benefit, whereas Osram's uh, currently says currently in models currently in um, gain the benefit. So yeah, you can dip put feet and then walk off, uh, and they'll gain it. I might be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it, how it should work. So what we're seeing in as the end of this term, not right now, uh, I'm not sure that Xerxes is close enough to the flag, but it might just be, you know, he might have just said it's close to the flag, it might have been good afterwards, so, you know, we well, never Xerxes know. Well, Xerxes is my Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, yeah, it's it's the, so right, whatever, there's, there's no the school scoring. player is not going to yeah, score this no turn. No score there, but the Austrian player so should gonna go score two, two. And, oh, and the thing is back up for reasons. It's a revenant... Drake. 
Uh, okay, I don't know what happened. Let's see if we can hear. Nope, too loud. Oh, they called it head judge. Mr. Jason Enos coming across here. Ooh. I don't know if Josh is calling. I'm sure that will sort it out. So, yeah, so I'm confused as to what has happened there. I only know because you do it. So it's the uh, new uh, scorn uh, team list, Wendy style. They come back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he used the sacrifice in Arcana. And looks like uh, uh, the Swedish player is like, letting this happen. Um, so what do you think about those, those situations, by the way? Because well, I mean, I was, I was getting much happier once the Drake had gone down. Because, you know, in, in a situation like this, I would be like, okay, a mistake has been made. Uh, we can try to fix it as being as players, but players are obviously biased towards something. So it's complicated. And I know in other games, when those kind of things happen, those kind of honest mistakes, you usually just raise you you go for a judge and whoever is right or wrong you don't try to think yes. you just say judge yep. and a judge comes over and he goes to your table and says okay what's happened and okay how well, far can I rewind it what's the rule here's what's going to happen and see how the table is going to be fixed because I, I, you know what I think is going to happen is that probably there was a misunderstanding on how much um, was the what was the matter was the defense on the play? Yeah. I guess, and it's really up to the players. Like you know, it's like oh, I, I'm you know, if, if the guy says I do seven, I hit you. Uh, it's to my opinion, it's the, it's the responsibility of the player that is receiving the strike to say, oh no, you do, you're doing a seven. It's not enough, you miss. But if you just say I hit you, you know, you just roll die and you're just not announcing the, the numbers and everything. Uh, there is for me like for me it's one of the situations where I say wait, wait wait you haven't you just told me you hit but I, I wasn't sure you didn't tell me exactly what you did I wasn't able to check the map no you didn't hit we have to go back on this thing my, I mean, my concern in that situation specifically um, is it looks like one of the doors possibly could have been in range because I think that that career is actually a bit lower than it was um, we can look back um, but uh, Yes, good. Good, Mark, you're learning. Sorry. We just had Mark in the chat realised it was a, a pulse, not an arrow. Okay. Um, so, so, for one, that's a move mod. Two, I think if it was a little low, it might have been in range of the bottom, um, bottom door. So, at that point, you've got order of activation where you could potentially have had the top two doors go first, the bottom yeah. two doors go first, and the guy in the middle, in regards to where he charged. Well, pick, the you know, if the top one dies, you can then get a, the other attack one. on the bottom one, that kind of thing. And it could have been at that point he thought he died. Uh, you know, we don't know where in which way he's facing. It's like it's a really weird. Basically, there's two drakes living, and there's a lot of things that have been missed because I don't see a lot of damages on those drake grids. I see one grid that's been completely blacked out, and yep. the drake is dead. I see two other things with a couple of damages, but that's it. Oh, and the top zone now is being. So the going, and this is what I was saying before: yeah, is that I actually expected none of the none of the drakes to be there. Uh, I mean, it I might have matter. Uh, and, and the other side too, and, and obviously I can't. We don't know what's happened, but it, that might be the thing. If you know, if something's happened and they're just like, you know, whatever, he just kind of feels in a comfortable position anyway. Uh, you do tend to get that. Oh, oh there's just yeah. Uh, and another <laughs> score two. Yep. Uh, I was uh, uh, here, and I don't think there was anything for the spawn player. So it'd be round three now? Absolutely. Top of round three. So it'd be just two. Oh, so it's just dead. Okay. So I believe that's where we are now anyway. Um, so, what do you do? Uh, do you think it's quickly looking at it? You can see the the ends of Jason and us in the stream now. They're asking a question. We'll have to get Jason over to uh, explain to us what happens. Oh, yeah. 
So there's a head to chase the ruling. He's currently having a look at the ruling. Um, I might actually use this then as an opportunity uh, to go see how the other tables are doing. You you can. This there could be quite a lot of people today. I mean, in this last game in the room, I feel. Yep. I'll just yeah. Go ahead. Press past them. I, I'll. <laughs> Gonna try to snuffing very yeah okay looks like they're redoing the attacks uh, well Jason is there there's Jason and Simon here the two judges at the table uh, we're gonna try to understand what's happening Chris just uh, went there basically there's the whole action where those drakes were supposed to be dead and then they came back and then something happened and and then now the judge is there and he's uh, checking on the rule book uh, two judges. And we have two players who are looking at the judge, waiting for the judge call. Everything is fine. We have like a judge call going on, so my co-host is went doing a bit of reporting, and we'll be back with uh, whatever is happening in this table. So, yeah. Okay, I have to I will head to the other way. Is so, we're trying to understand what's happening here. Uh, the uh, score player is playing, it looks like those two drakes will be staying on the board after the judge left. Uh, maybe I can get Simon, what happened on the table? The the table where the Swedish person is fighting the uh, uh, what, what was the question? Uh, I don't know, they were drakes and then the drakes were removed and placed again and there was a call and we don't know what happened. Yeah. No, the, there was the, there was a question if uh, Drake with Tucker if he friends uh, if he need if he need, can do friendly attack. Yeah, and the judge called that he can because it's not initial. Oh, true. Yeah. The yes. So there was a friendly uh, friend on the Drake. That was what happening. Okay. Cool. Thank you very much. I wasn't able to see why. Um, they came back there. Um, right, so uh, updates then uh, on the uh, other tables. So, um, uh, on the conversion side, uh, not a lot has changed. There's, there's just a sea of cricks still coming at them, but we're one tap down, which is possibly a concern there for the conversion players. So, um, and there is just, just, yeah, as I said, there's a sea. It doesn't look like Gorshade's popped his feet yet either. So, so you might just be able to take back nine mains, and usually you take like eight main riders yeah. <laughs> and one warriors that might have been lost in the process, whatever. So that actually is starting to look as though we might be incorrect on the access view. Ah. If they're already a tap down post, uh, pre, uh, pre feet, yeah. Um, we've then got um, the Legion players, they are still miles away from each other. But what they've kind of done is um, it looks like Abby is probably feated, but all the Carnivians are all in one end of the zone on her right um, and there's like lots of terrain and then there's kind of like a poultry bit of force on the left hand side at the back of the zone and then Fiona is kind of on the same the other way so they're both kind of cycling around each other they're going to basically end up in each of this deployment zone if they keep going the way they are um, 
So, but I couldn't, I couldn't, there were no few tokens next to either of them. Um, tokens, so it, they may have already are, used it or might be waiting. We're so. already an hour within this round, so at some point somebody's gonna have to move. Someone's gonna have to do something. Um, so, Crix, um, they're being the dark host, is being very respectful of Butcher. It is like a, a wave formation, um, basically around. Um, so you, I'll see if you can see. There we go. So, you have Butcher here and the Crix force is here, but in a curve. It goes like that. So it's basically slamming into the car, into the Kador force. And the second it gets anywhere near Butcher, it just kind of curves around his threat range. So it's like a sea of Cricks that's broken uh, uh, around K uh, Cricks, uh, so Butcher's threat ranges. Butcher seems to be in a good position, or do you think he's being outplayed by the uh, Chris player? Um, ah, just just noticed there. Uh, the objective also went down, so it's actually going to be three points. Good call, the bomber. Sorry, we missed the. Uh, we were too busy wondering why a Drake was resurrected um, before we. Um, so wait, the it's three player. zero. So two more and it's over. Which means basically, if the school player doesn't, oh, he ran something up. Yeah. But it does. It's not enough. It's not enough because next turn. So he's still going to score because the flag. There's nothing there in the flag. So it's it's going to be four. Uh, let's say four one. Yeah. If he gets. And the then it just zone. has it just has one guy to kill, and he has like three war jacks, four war jacks, yeah, and six dwarves. So it it feels. It's not going really well for the school player here. No. No. Um, uh, right, yes, yeah, so, so that one, the Kiesi, uh are being engaged. But unlike most forces where a right because one rider is like ran into the middle of the KZ group, but the KZ can just walk away from him. So if they don't want to, they don't have to trigger vengeance. Um, so that might not be as good a tactic as the Crix player is thinking, just because normally they can just send one rider in, tie up the unit, and it's like if you kill him, the rest of them get vengeance. Yeah. Um, whereas now obviously they can just ignore him if they want to. But that one that one looks like something's about to happen. Um, so we'll wait and see. On the final table, um, it's it's one of those. Haley's feet is gone. The Swedish player is up 2 1 on Snorri. Um, and it's turn three, I believe. Okay. Um, How many dervishes, dervishes Six left? dervishes are down. So. I don't know. I mean, it's it's one of those where if you can survive, normally you say if you can survive Haley's feet, you can start to grind it down. He is already one point ahead on scenario, but that's a lot of dervishes to be gone. The thing, yeah, it's like you you just have enough s dervishes to start the synergy, and then you're gonna need a Templar or the Indictor to actually be able to get into finish combat off. and yeah. finish the storm. Yeah, both the Storm Strider and the Stormwall are still alive. Uh, I'm not sure how much damage is on them, but the thing is, like the Storm Strider is gonna be able. I mean. If if the choir is still alive, it's okay. If it's starting to get less and less members of the choir, uh, the you know the storm strider, when he hits the jack, disrupt them. It's gonna be complicated. Indeed, indeed. So, um, so yeah. So maybe we might just be totally wrong this round. So wait, so the, the, the enemy Drax is going in. So I guess what I think the school player is trying to do here is try to make to win as many points as possible to try to avoid not just losing uh, by just because not enough points on next turn. Um, I don't see yeah. So yeah, if he clears the this on the bottom, book there is there's gonna be two. I was gonna get another third one if he kills the objective, which I think is gonna be you know uh, no he's not doing that right now. Why? Why? If he gets up to three, it's gonna mean like uh, Oscar is gonna have to get five more, actually four more, since uh, Ostrom is basically gonna score right away. Yep. And you have that turn and score another point afterwards, and uh, yeah, it might be enough just to to try to find a solution for the small players to be able to 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 take that game back. But I, I think at some point it's gonna be it's gonna have to send Xerxes into the thing. Yeah. Okay, so there's a bunny down. Yeah, but he needs to kill the objective. He has to. I think he can do that with the gun. Large base goes to power fifteen. I it's power fifteen, it's fifteen boxes minus three. You roll one, you have two two shots. Yeah, that's a good point. Um Oh, okay. ah, so he's now. This thing does not down. Cool. 
but he's still eating the jacks. Or maybe he wants to finish shooting the objective with the other animator axe. I mean, yeah, he will have a second uh, second animator axe to do this. Oh, good one. Four shots. Ah, he must have got whipped up. Yeah, yeah, before he goes. So yeah, he's been whipped up from tokens. Wow, both two jacks under feet. That is quite impressive. Yeah, you actually forgot about it because right now the objective is just almost 21. <laughs> so uh, it's not a couple of shots that are going to make it because they're minus six. There's no way he's going to be able to do it in boxes. So it might just end there. Wrong target. I know it's awful because you feel that you really need to kill the jack because uh, otherwise you're going to lose any Mantrax, but here you might just lose the game. Or there might be something we're not seeing. Yeah. Chat, let us know. Let us know, chat. Are you spotting something? All knowledge. Unfortunately, I apologize because the player is putting his head right next to the camera. He keeps re trying to refocus. Um, on his face, and then so that's why we get that kind of weird. It's for positioning is. away. I am slightly okay. Maybe something I'm not seeing. Is he trying to draw line of sight? Is that what he's trying to do? He's trying to bring that amount of tracks up to shoot at Ostrom. He cannot do anything here against Ostrom. I'm pretty sure Ostrom is camping, and if anything is under feet, it's probably number 20. More than 15 boxes, so... I'm, I'm at a loss then. And okay, it's but it, I mean, it so still seems to be doing, doing some damage then. So, so let, let, okay, let me know if, if I'm mistaken here. So basically, uh, the score player is going to be able to say, okay, you're not going to score the zone, but also you're going to be able to score your thing. So your machine player is going to be able to go up to four. On his end, the score player is going to be able to score two. So it's going to be four. So he could, oh, he could possibly get two. Uh, no, he could get the flag with Xerxes. Yeah, so he's going to score two. He can score his own zone, and he could potentially kill the objective. How? I mean, I'm not sure what to <laughs> do. Yeah, I mean, the, the way I look at the grids uh, on the Swedish, uh, you know, board mm. thing that he made, the objective is full. If that is the actual objective, yeah. you know, thing. So, it's fine, you can kill dwarves, okay, cool. Uh, but in the end, if the, the, the mercenary player is able to score one this turn, and the scrum player is only able to score two, he scores four two, uh, actually that's... It's two difference, right? Because, yeah, but it doesn't matter because in Eastern, the Master player is just going to say, okay, I'm removing this Drake that might be contesting. Mm. I score two, and I just send stuff toward your place, and I'm, I'm going to score that one point, and it's just as to clear the, the top thing again. I might not be over this turn, is what I'm saying. I might have mis miscalculated that. All 10 games still going in the room. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so let's have a look. So, I was for Ostrom, you went for Xerxes. Not sure how that one's working out at the minute. It seems to be doing okay. Um, both of us might be wrong on the access front. We both thought access was going well. And it, like it might still. It might still. Um, you know, there was, there's a lot of there's a lot of convergent stuff, but with the tap going now, that's always a concern, especially because there was a lot of scat calls um, behind the um, behind Gore Shade. So I'd imagine he's therefore just going to bring everything back again. Um, oh wait, maybe I'm missing something. You know, you see the Drake that is that is in the stagger. Yep. I was thinking maybe he could just run up, but there's those two dwarves that's probably going to free strike him to death, so it's not going to work. Because I thought maybe you could just run it next to Ostrom and be like, nope, no points for you this turn, and you're going to have to move Ostrom from your flag if you want to yeah. be able to score again. Yeah, I can't imagine him living. Although, it didn't seem to take much damage. I'm not sure what happened there. Not sure how they did, how both of those drakes are still alive, but there must be a reason. Uh, Time-wise, 21 minutes for the score player, 34, yeah, 34 for minutes the, on the other side. So, so it's probably not going to come to clock. I think this is going to be uh, be over much much more uh, before the clock itself. Um, Xerxes runs over his own models. He can't do that, but he might just have. To, oh. Uh, 
Well, he has, if has he, he just said, trampled his, over his own things? He did. He did. Whoops. <laughs> uh, I won't survive. Yeah, but it's a lot of dead guys. He's not getting souls from them, that's for sure. <laughs> They are discussing something. Uh, Only two dead? Only okay. two? That's fair enough. It's okay. You can sacrifice two guys and not die. And actually not lose the scenario. So okay, so it looks like he's now got two drakes up at that top scenario. Uh, yeah, but you really can just put the trailer in the middle and that's it. Yeah. So, yeah, whatever happens there. So he scores one, he's on four. And the school player may have scored two. So let's see what he do. Wait, what does he put only one? He scored two, right? No, no, that's two. No, no, he did two. There's nothing contesting on the, the bottom. Oh, hang on. That gun bunny. Oh, shoot. So it's over. Yeah. So all he needs to do now is kill. Just the two drakes. It, well, run. Oh yeah, and push them out. Yeah, push, push them away. Maybe I, I spoke too much. Yeah, Maybe get something. Okay. Uh, so scoring wise, we are at four one. Yep. Can you press space again? And it's the bottom of three. So, so yeah, it's not gonna run until the very end of the clock here. I think I don't know if the. Uh, I can imagine this is probably the last turn. You're gonna get the dwarves in on one Drake. Um, Trailer in on the other just to make sure. Maybe so he's just trying to get points. as many points. The, I think the thing for him as well is if he's gone he's to four, he gets to. If he doesn't stop something, he needs to contest. Basically. If he doesn't contest the flag, then he, he can't win this turn. Uh, and those drakes, although they've resurrected, frenzied, <laughs> been staggered, and all the other great stuff, uh, they are currently stopping uh, dwarfs uh, getting to the flag. Okay, yep, so here you go. So the bunny's gonna run, contest the flag. Um, and then as long as he uh, yeah, so stays in combat, gets within four, so he can't now score the end of the turn, so all he needs to do now is to clear his top zone. That'll put him on six points, his opponent on one, and then he'll, uh, he'll win. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that doesn't a look three. good start, it's a three. It's a one and one. No, it was Still, a hit. It must have been a hit. And then that's really bad times now because... Oh, it depends if it was a drill, but also... Because you've got a sustained attack. Unless it was with the fist. Okay, that must have been the drill. It must have been bad in the drill. This looks like all full dice, though. Yeah, and he's going to remove it. Or, yeah, he's going to remove it. Or not. Or yes. Yes, yeah, yeah. That looks like some pretty. It's over. Yeah, yeah. because just going to push it with the. Uh, and that's it. And that is so the it's game. a win on scenario for the Ostrom. Ostrom. The awesome Ostrom. So we lost. We both. No, no, no I, I, I lost. lost from, you lost. <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I called this from the start. <laughs> ah, come on. I want to give. Um, I want to give Jersey, so, you know, like good vibes. You give, yeah, exactly. You, 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 you have to. You have to, to be support winning. Him there. Like that's that's a big that's a big boy on his big toy. <laughs> He's not been doing well on the stream. It's a bit of a curse. No, to be fair. No, no, no. Next time we gotta. Exorcist, I don't think I'm going to root for him. Okay, well, what I'm going to do then, seeing as uh, this game is now over. So we're not get us an update on the other games. And uh, I will stop the recording here for YouTube, but... Uh, we'll keep streaming as long as you guys oh, wait, are still... Wait, wait, maybe they're realizing... Well, he did check and right, so there's yeah. nothing. Anyway, I will also try and find out what...